This is gate 2017, set to electrical question number 10. For a 3 input logic circuit shown below, the output Z can be expressed as this logic circuit is given and the 4 options are given. For MPTL reference, you can refer to lecture number 4, combinational circuits of the MPTL course Digital Electronics by Professor S. Srinivasan. Coming to the useful data, this is the symbol of a NAND gate and this is the symbol of a NOT gate. When you give inputs A and B to the NAND gate, it will a dot B complement as the output and the NOT gate just, just inverts the input. If you give X, the output is X complement. To A dot B complement for a NAND gate, using De Morgan's theorem, we can write C as A complement plus B complement. So De Morgan's theorem states that when you have A dot B, you can break this complement and spread it over A and B and in that case the dot sign is replaced by a plus sign and the complement gets spread over A and B. So this is De Morgan's theorem. The reverse is also true. That if you have A, these two parameters, A complement and B complement with a plus sign as complement, you can break that complement and shift it over the variables. So A bar was there and you shift the complement sign over A bar, A complement, whole complement, and then plus sign becomes dot sign, and then B complement was already there. So over that, the, this complement sign also comes. So A bar whole bar is A and dot was there and B bar whole bar is B. Now this is the combinational circuit with three inputs given here. So we can write the Z because this is P, this is Q bar, this is Q, this is Q dot R whole complement and this is P dot Q bar whole bar. This is the outputs of NAND gates. So Z can be written as P dot q bar whole bar dot q dot q dot r whole bar whole bar by de morgan's theorem is already stated this complement sign can be spread over the three inputs so p dot q bar whole bar then whole bar and then the dot sign becomes plus sign q bar plus Q dot R bar then again a bar then we have P dot Q bar plus Q bar plus Q dot R this can be written by taking Q bar common as 1 plus P plus Q into R 1 plus P means that 1 odd P so 1 will always happen right because even if P is 0 or 1 you will always get the net output as 1 so 1 plus p is always 1 and if you had 1 dot p 1 and p then it will depend on p value right so it is 1 1 plus p is 1 so and 1 dot q bar is q bar right plus q dot r again we can bring 1 plus r here because 1 plus r is 1 only so q bar into 1 was there so this 1 can be done replaced by 1 plus r for further simplification plus q dot r which can be written as q bar plus q bar dot r plus q dot r now this can be further simplified by taking r common as q plus q bar plus q bar now q plus q bar is 1 so r plus q bar this is the final simplified result so r plus q bar option c is the correct option thank you